it works. Maybe some memory card issues. Hopefully this one works. We'll so see. So we're going to make it quick. Yeah. <laughs> Coming up the store. Summer tent event. Next July, Saturday. July 18th. Two one trucks. To, 1 to 5 p.m. Beer outside. Wine inside. It's 10 bucks. Prepay $15 at the door. Wow. Uh, the first 300 pe people who pay will get a cup with our logo on it. Really? Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, that's pretty cool. Yeah, I didn't do that in the first two takes, did I? That's nice. You get a cup? Yeah, it's a mug, oh. like a plastic that's mug. That's pretty cool. All right. All right, so um, oh, we also have August 29th, uh, time and kind of the whole events in the planning stages. Mixology. Mixology class with uh, Jonathan. Uh, there'll be a limited number of people that will be able to have it then. So on the uh, tasting this Saturday, I will not be there. I'll be in South Carolina at a baseball tournament. And for and the second time, nobody cares. And on the uh, third time, August 29th, I will be bartending at the Prairie Health Charity event, so all of you should be there. Uh, Brass from the past from 7 till 10. That'll be after our tasting. They're open till like, I don't know, 10 at the outside. Excellent. So, be at the charity event. It's fun. Silent auction, live auction, and me bartending. What up? Um, all right, is it still working? It is going. We're good. Excellent. Um, so what do we do today for the third time? Because he's so excited about this. It's fair kind of bear. Uh, pale Ale. So we have two things going on today. We're going to do them this time in reverse order because we've already filmed this twice. So oh, the first, second one we only did 30 seconds. The first beer we're going to try because it's already in our glass is the Three Floyds Yum Yum. So Yum Yum is their session pale ale. Uh, used to be Pride and Joy. They started something else here. And uh, we're going to give it a shot because this is actually a Three Floyds beer you can find in the store. Antioch Fine Wine Liquors has it for $13.99. A six pack. And it's very good. So we're going to add a little more to his glass. Add a lot more to my glass. We're just going to finish that off there because we're going to take care of that. I have more, don't worry. See, back there, the boxes, plenty. That's a lot of All right, you know something? It's a lot easier to smell this when you haven't just shit your pants. Because on the first take, he did. And here we are at take three. Thanks. All right, so. Um, That's a big head. I mean, Here's it does not have a big nose. No. I mean, there's a little bit of fruit. If you, if I get more fruit in no, 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 I couldn't smell anything. Excellent. <laughs> all right, uh, we're, we're, we're being told to hurry it up. Um, all right, so I've obviously tried this before now. Yeah, uh, it's it's fruity, it's light, and it's, it's a session pale ale. Really so it's really easy to drink. It doesn't have that IPA like aftertaste that you yeah. had. And it's, it's a session pale, so it's going to be lower alcohol than most pale ales, but this is three Floyd, so it's going to be a little higher than other sessions. But it's like 5%. Um, a lot of session panels like Lagunitas All Day IPAs, um, the Stone All Day IPA, those are like three and a half to four percent, a little bit higher, but still light, easy to drink during the day, uh, fruity, citrusy, very nice. Very I gotta easy. be honest, I stopped listening to you. <laughs> <laughs> Although you know something what I was just thought of is um, our um, what our barrel should be in soon for Weller and uh, Buffalo Trace. What about Eagle Rare? Eagle Rare was a, is a couple, probably a month later. So it could be really, that long, huh? Yeah. So that was one of our episodes recently, was an Eagle Rare barrel right. tasting. All right, we're being told to hurry it up again. But it's still working. Um, okay, are you going to rinse out your glass again? No, because I know it's coming. You rinse out mine, though? No, you can rinse yours out. Uh, wait, I'm not done yet. I just have a lot of foam. I don't need mine rinse. Mine's good. Oh, I seem to have a text. I've been told to check my phone. <laughs> it's a very important text. It is? What does it say? It says at 9 o'clock, naked and afraid starts. <laughs> <laughs> naked and afraid. All right, so, so the other the other beer we're going to try today, this is a Mythbuster. This is the Stone. Enjoy by 7415. So it is what, 712? It is still 712. Still 712. And we're going to see. 712 take one, still 712 take two, still 712 take three. We're going to see if this is still good. Give me not too much of that. It's more than I really want. So we've tried this a couple times. It is a double IPA 
made by Stone Brewery out in California, Southern California, and they make this twice a year, July 4th and over the winter holidays, um, and it's supposed to be drunk right away. Don't hold it. Don't age it. Just drink it. Um, yada, yada, yada. Let's try this. We're going to see if it's any good post July 4th. He doesn't like IPAs to begin with. He's kind of whiny. And you were going to say, Dylan, Mythbusters, Mythbusters. Mythbusters, <laughs> Mythbusters on the camera, Mythbusters. All right, so. Very fruity nose. Very fruity nose. IPA it's nose. got the IPA nose. It does. No, oh, it's very, it's a good nose. I smell better now than the first time we did this. I wonder why. You okay? Because Elise has changed your diaper. Smooth. Fruity. I don't like it at all. You don't like it? I like it. I like this. This The problem is it's 9.5% alcohol. Knock you on your ass. But it's good. But if you have any left, it won't be for sale. It'll be out of the stores. But if you have any left, drink it. Not getting any better. It's going to get only worse. Drink it. That goes for all IPAs, though. They lose their happinesses. About 60, 90 days. You got to get rid of them. This one is good. It's got to get rid of it now. Drink it. But... The myth buster is it's still okay and it's a week after July. I can't believe I'm choking this down again. Well, if you had uh, a better camera, terrible. you'd be alright. Alright, well, so uh, come see me at the uh, tasting this coming Saturday. Uh, sign up when I get the information for the um, mixology class with Jonathan. And come to the Prairie House Charity event August 29th. I'll be bartending still. Until next time, we are drinking in the basement. When is take four?